Well, thank you very much, Ben. And thank you, Gary, and the entire VCF team for working with me on this model and presentation. You've provided a great, friendly atmosphere to work on it, and uh, you have so much extensive knowledge and best practices and innovation with VCS that it was a real pleasure. Uh, we've able, we're able to speed up the model, we enhance the visual display, and uh, organize the uh, model tree so it's uh, very clear. So today I'm going to highlight some of the DCS capabilities and modeling gears. This is for high accuracy metal, uh, mechanisms that have complex contact shapes such as gear teeth and rotary motions and moves. So we use DCS because it is very effective in finding opportunities. You have opportunities to solve problems, to save time and money, and to assign accountability to the different issues. Uh, you can manage the gear projects using this type of software to replace the prototype builds and virtual builds because many of the issues will be found before that event, for those events. And also to improve the gear system performance, and perhaps most of all, to reduce the assembly variation. So understanding and correcting misalignment before the start of production is one of the keys to getting the gear systems working right off, right straight off the bat. One of the issues is acceleration line or transmission error. And the cause of the transmission error is one of the teeth, as the teeth spin around, they, they uh, load up on the gear, and that causes a deceleration of the gear. Then they are in contact with the gear, and then they unload the gear, and then that creates the tooth and has another big acceleration. The second cause is the force of the tooth contact. So the contact, force uh, actually dents the other tooth elastically as the two teeth spin around. Now, if you have misalignment, then these uh, noise issues increase and you have a, a very, uh, maybe an NNV issue. And also the gear durability starts to drop. Uh, you get pitted teeth and uh, bearing burnout, other effects. So uh, this uh, is very particular in these spur gears that you can have an edge contact. So we'll go through that a little bit more. The uh, variation analysis uh, is used because sometimes the customer specifications are too tight. They don't need to be that tight. They just set them that way to start with, and that can affect the bearing cost. So you have to understand, well, what's, what bearing, uh, is necessary to meet the specification and how much that's affecting their cost. And also you can find out the milling sequence is causing excessive housing errors because it highlights which surfaces are really the bottom, the root cause of it. And then uh, you can analyze the production or, or prototype or pre-prototype noise and vibration issues by looking at the alignments and trying to find out what alignment would cause what noise. The variation analysis is, uh, shows you how close you are to the lower spec limit and upper spec limit. The, the ability to find the root cause is first highlighted by how close you are to the specifications. And also if you're well within the specifications, that may be an opportunity to save money on, on your product. So you have uh, many opportunities in engineering and manufacturing for products. That's why there's a different version every few years. Uh, to make There's a uh, fast or eliminated prototype uh, possibility. So one of the issues could be 
that you have to shim this particular design. And suppose you have 25 shims in a pack. Well, the way they usually work this is they pull out two shims, put them in the met in the gear train, die train, and then throw the pack away or just scrap it. So that's pretty expensive. And plus these um, two shims are often right next to each other or they're in a, a specific uh, region of the uh, the pack. And so for a given run, you're throwing away constantly 15 shims. So uh, if you could go to 10 shims in a pack, then you could save a lot of money in the assembly line and make the uh, actually the time to do the shims faster. So the one way to do that might be to reduce the bearing tolerances or machining tolerances or reduce the mean shifts of the machining operations. And this would allow you to select from one area of the pack. And 3DCS will highlight that how this is possible. And similarly, if you're trying to reduce the pinion adjustment, they can, you can find out how much adjustment distance you need, and that can affect the compactness of your design. And so you can look at what you'd like to do in the design and use this opportunity in a virtual world to see if it's possible.